Have you ever been in a situation where you had to rank several options based on your preference, but you couldn't decide which one was the best? Maybe you were choosing a vacation destination, or voting for a political candidate, or selecting a book to read. How did you make your decision? Did you use some criteria, or? Did you just go with your gut feeling? Well, in Agile project management, we often face similar dilemmas when we have to estimate the size and importance of user stories in our product backlog. User stories are short descriptions of features or functionalities that we want to deliver to our customers. Estimating them helps us plan our sprints more accurately and efficiently. But how do we estimate user stories? There are many agile estimation techniques that we can use, such as planning poker, analogy, bucket system, affinity estimation, dot voting, and white elephant sizing. However, in this video, we are going to focus on one technique that is very easy to use and understand. Dot voting. But before starting our video please subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon. Let's start now. Dot voting is usually considered a decision-making tool in an agile estimation technique. For example, dot voting is preferred to select the most important two to three items during sprint retrospective. However, it can also be used to estimate user stories when there is a relatively small set of items and we don't want any complex techniques. So how does dot voting work? Let me explain it with an example. Suppose you have a team of five developers who are working on a social media app. They have the following user stories in their product backlog. A. As a user, I want to post text, images, and videos on my profile. B. As a user, I want to follow other users and see their posts on my feed. C. As a user, I want to like, comment, and share posts that I find interesting. D. As a user, I want to chat with other users privately or in groups. E. As a user, I want to edit my profile and change my settings. The team wants to estimate these user stories using dot voting. Here are the steps they follow. First the product owner posts all the user stories on a wall. Next, every team member is given 4 to 5 votes, these can be small round sticky notes or dots. Next, every team member is asked to give their votes on the stories they think are bigger or more important. They can vote more than once for one story if they want. Next, the team members put their votes on the wall next to the user stories they choose. Next, at the end of this process, the story with the highest number of votes is considered the biggest or the most important. The story with the lowest number of votes is considered the smallest or the least important. Next, the product owner then orders the stories from highest to lowest number of votes. In our example, let's say the team voted like this. User story, A, 4 votes. User story, B, 3 votes. User story, C, 5 votes. User story, D, 2 votes. User story, E, 1 vote. The product owner then orders the stories like this. User story, C, 5 votes. User story, A, 4 votes. User story, B, 3 votes. User story, D, 2 votes. User story, E, 1 vote. This order reflects the relative size and importance of each user story according to the team's collective wisdom. The product owner can then use this order to prioritize the user stories for sprint planning. However, sometimes it might be difficult to decide the order or some stakeholders might not agree with it. In that case, the user stories can be divided into three groups after some discussion. High priority, medium priority, and low priority. Then, the high priority user stories can be posted on the wall again to receive more votes until a final order is achieved with the agreement of all stakeholders. The advantages of dot voting are that it is quick, simple, and collaborative. It allows the team to express their opinions and preferences without having to justify them or argue with each other. It also leverages the wisdom of the crowd, which means that the collective judgment of the team is more likely to be accurate than the individual judgment of one person. The disadvantages of dot voting are that it can be influenced by groupthink, peer pressure, or bias. For example, some team members might vote for the same story as others because they don't want to stand out or disagree. Or some team members might vote for a story because they like it or they are familiar with it, not because it is actually bigger or more important. Therefore, dot voting should be used with caution and moderation. 
It should not be the only technique for agile estimation, but rather a complementary one that can provide some quick and useful insights. It should also be combined with other techniques that can provide more objective and detailed information, such as planning poker or analogy. That's it for this video. We hope you learned something new and useful about dot voting. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more Agile and Scrum content. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.